Now let's download a useful IDE integrated development environments for GitHub. So just go to this link here, https colon double forward slash desktop dot github dot com. Okay. And then we'll, we'll download this particular tool for your operating system. For example, my machine is a Mac OS. So I'll download for the Mac OS, the uh, GitHub desktop. Okay. So once you have downloaded and installed the de GitHub desktop on your computer, you can launch it and let's see what we can do. Okay, launch it and let's say we sign in to github.com. So you use your previous educational account for the GitHub. So at this point, make sure your account for GitHub is really an educational account. It's crucial, okay? If you have doubts, refer to the previous video in the same series. Okay, so now let's say, let's say I use my username, okay, and then whatever password it is, Okay, sign in. Okay, configure the Git. Uh, I can just configure it. Uh, let's say this and use my your email. Okay, and then I'll say continue. Okay, so this is really up to you, but I can just say yes by default. And finish. So to begin with, you were a uh, list of repositories uh, is simply just empty. So that's why it brought to you this uh, particular page. So you got different options over here. So in later tutorial series, we'll show you how you can create a new repository. Specifically for your coursework, you must create a private repository. So we'll show you how you can do it. You can either to create a local folder on your personal computer and then publish that as private repository to GitHub server. That's option number one. Or you can simply say, I want to create a new repository here uh, to the server right away as a private repository. And can, later on, you can even clone, which means to download whatever repository that you have created from the GitHub server to your local computer. So there are many options over here. So we will show you the simple ones for you to begin with in later tutorial videos.